welcome back to Let's Play Gothic Knight of the Raven. Now, before we get to the best series, sorry about this again. There's just two more things I want to show you now. This is pretty cool. Inside this cave, I'll show you the location in a second. Uh, I've already cleared out everything. You find three zombie skeletons. Oh wait, three skeletons. Uh, wait. Three goblin skeletons and three zombies. Now, once you cleared them, you can find some pretty cool stash, powder sword, a powder two-hander which is quite good early in the game, and a jewel casket which you can sell for around a thousand gold. Now the location is not far from uh, Orland's Tavern. It's just near the teleport stone, and it's near the graveyard. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding it at all. And the second thing I want to show you is not far from here. It's a quest which I should have got around in chapter 1, around episode 10 or 15. But I kind of forgot for some reason. I thought I had it when I checked through my videos, but I guess not. So basically, uh, go to this little burnt down camp, or at least it looks like a burnt down camp. And you can find a hunter called Dragomir. Now, Dragomir is a very experienced crossbowman, so you won't be able to find many experienced crossbowmen who can teach you how to increase crossbow skill. So, if you complete his quest, that will be very, very good for you. Traveling so far from home, out here you have to be careful, especially when you're all by yourself. What are you doing out here? Well, the tavern is too expensive for me. That's why I settled here. The previous inhabitants don't seem to need it anymore. Who used to live in this camp? No idea. Probably some hunters. I suppose it got too dangerous for them out here. Isn't it too dangerous out here? Well, not if you can defend yourself. Crossbow has already proven to be of service many times. It's not all that big. But deadly, if you know how to handle it. I used to have a bigger one. Unfortunately, I lost it. I ventured too far north into the mountains. There's a big stone circle there with a sacrificial altar. While I was hunting scavengers up there, these vile undead beings came out of the woods and attacked me. All I could do was run for my life. While I was running, the crossbow slipped from my hand. I bet it's still lying up there by that strange stone circle in the north. Can you teach me something? If you can pay. Like I said, at the moment I'm a bit strapped for cash. How much do you want? 150 gold pieces. Maybe later. Now I think that if you complete this quest he does it for free but if you want to learn crossbow now you can just talk to him and pay 150 gold. So the quest will be completed um, at the same time we get the Eye of Inlots because it's at the exact same location. So right now let's go to the farms um, at Ona's farm. Okay once you're here there's one other thing I should mention. Errol's hut is over there, so you can talk to Errol for 150 XP um, extra. Now, this quest is most likely the most difficult quest in the entire game of Night of the Raven, but it's very, very short. Uh, all you have to do is uh, kill four Seekers, but they're all in one location. Talk to... Uh, the owner of the farm, I forget his name, Sekov or something. Did something happen? You got to help me. The black robes have invaded my house. I know you mercenaries aren't big on charity, but I would pay you. Those fellas said they were looking for something, but surely not my house. Please help me make them go away again. Okay, I'm gonna save here and attempt to risk, risk, uh, and kill the, you know, 
black robes, as they call it. Now, this quest may be easy, I'm not sure, I haven't tried it, but by the looks of it, it's extremely difficult, seeing as there's four seekers inside the house. My god. I'm not even dealing hardly any damage. Well, I... Is he burning himself? Oh my god! They're fighting each other. Isn't this hilarious? Oh dear. Not very good. Okay, um... Let me just get some potions. And... I'm gonna try again. Are they still killing each other? This has got to be the most hilarious sacrificial uh, ritual I've ever seen. Something really bad happened. When I was editing out this video, I realized that Fraps, when I was recording and not recording, it recorded the stuff I didn't need. So, for example, when I started recording, it recorded the things I was starting to finish recording. Confusing, but it sucks. Now, basically, I'm just going to tell you what what else happened. I killed the uh, what what they called seekers. Talk to Sekob for 400 XP and 250 gold. Then what I did is go to Bengar's farm. Those are the high pastures on the near the pass. Uh, you should know where it is. And talk to him to get a quest uh, about some. Well, most of these farmers just left uh, his farm. So basically, talk to him about that, and also talk to him about. Uh, the missing people and you'll get 150 XP for that then uh, go to Wolf and talk to him and that's where I finished off uh, basically what Bengard tells you is just to go to Wolf and talk to him uh, to get some people to help protect the farmers on his farm so right now I should be saying see you later because you know it really sucks when I uh, spent like a lot of time making video and then realizing that I stuffed up. Well, I didn't really stuff up, perhaps did. But anyways, see you later, guys.